So, my name's Marcus Manafro. I'm Professor of Biological Psychology at the University of Bristol. I'm based in the School of Experimental Psychology. I direct the Tobacco and Alcohol Research Group and we're part of the MRC Interpretive Epidemiology Unit, the UK Centre for Tobacco and Alcohol Studies. So we link into some fairly large research groupings. Um, and I use social media on a daily basis as an integral part of uh, my research output. I have an account on Twitter, I write um, blogs for both my research group's um, blog and also for um, the uh, Mental Health, which is uh, a, a blog that um, disseminates uh, evidence regarding best practice to the mental health community. Um, we have, as a research group, a Facebook page and the School of Experimental Psychology that we're based in also has a Facebook page. So we have quite a wide range of social media activities. Um, and of those, probably the one I find most useful is Twitter. Um, I have that page open at work all the time um, and it serves, if you follow the right people, as a way of finding out about the latest publications in your field because people will um, put on Twitter the, uh, the latest article that they've read that they think is interesting and if you're following people who have uh, shared interests then of course the stuff that they tweet is probably going to be of interest to you and I find that a much more efficient way of finding out about uh, the, the latest papers published in my field than by reading journals directly or searching on PubMed or any of the more um, traditional means of finding out about what's been published. Um, I also try to put up a blog post roughly monthly, either on the mental health or on um, my group's uh, blog, and I, as much as possible, encourage others in my research group to do the same. I think the point is that there are a range of different social media options available. Some are more suited to some people than others. People can pick what works best for them and then turn it into their own um, into their own channel of communication. So personally, I find it integral uh, to my work, both in terms of finding out what other people are doing, but also as a means of promoting our own research and publicising our own publications. I use it to advertise um, job openings in PhD positions within my group. And um, the main message uh, for me would be that you can really make this whatever you want to be. It can be a personal thing where um, you keep it removed from your work, or it can be something that is almost entirely academic, which in my case it is, or you can make it a blend of the two. The only advice would be to remember, certainly when it comes to something like Twitter, that you should really treat it as publishing. You are putting out information that is entirely public, and anyone can read it, and it can be traced back. So if you say something ill-advised, there's a permanent record of that. So that's the only note of caution, to be aware of the fact that whatever you're putting out via these social media channels it's in the public domain, but that's its strength as well as something to be um, conscious of, and I find it invaluable.